first things first, the relationship between Chris Paul and James Harden, as reported by Yahoo, is no longer reconcilable. What do you think? I mean, listen, there's more reporting than just that. The ESPN.com, Tim McMahon, had an extensive article about their, their frayed relationship, too. So, you know, whether it's frayed, whether it's irreparable, whether it's however you want to classify it, there's clearly a problem there. And the, there were a lot of, like, public, uh, you know, e- bits of evidence just in terms of their interactions post-game and in-games. There's tension there. Now, you can win despite the tension, but... You know, this this is a, a, a too much smoke to not be fire situation. And, uh, you know, it, the, the Rockets clearly are looking to, to move Chris Paul. There's been multiple reports about that. Um, they're in a tough spot, and it, it's not just that they don't have enough firepower and, and a lot locked up in an older Chris Paul. It's that, yeah, they're two stars don't seem to be enjoying each other anymore. All right, give me the best case scenario. Uh, who, who, who would be able to acquire Paul? I mean, who, who would want him, and who has the ability to, to pull off the trade assets for Daryl Morey and then they, they whole fitting his monster salary under the cap? I don't know. <laughs> I, I just don't know. It's, it's a huge salary. Uh, no one's going to be able to just absorb it. You're going to have to find a way to, to, to you know make a deal where you're at least getting close to matching the salaries. Uh, does anybody want Chris Paul at this age on that number? You you never say never. Every time we say there's an untradeable contract, somebody gets traded anyway. So, uh, you know, but this, this one's a really high bar. I, I mean, if, if you're asking me, is he a rocket next season? I say yes. Okay. And then uh, last one for you uh, on this front is what about Capella? Are, do, do, are the Rockets a trade player tonight? What happens this evening? If they can find a way to trade Capella, see, here's the thing. I keep seeing people throw out Capella scenarios that don't end up with the Rockets actually moving forward. If they're going to flip Capella, who's a decent young big and, a, and you know, a good dive man in the pick and roll, you need to at least get back a player or players who are helping you now. This isn't going to be a situation where you're just dumping his contract and getting some you know, picks or, or you know, fringe guys. They, no, the, the Rockets still want to contend as long as they've got James Harden and certainly as long as they're stuck with Chris Paul, too. So... Um, I don't know what the right deal there is. I, I don't know if this is just going to be a reshuffling of, of deck chairs, but um, they're kind of stuck. They don't have a lot else that's movable. They don't have a lot to work with, but Daryl Morey's is as creative and aggressive as they come. And, you know, I, maybe he doesn't pull off something tonight, but probably something in July. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.